Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That is Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. And one thing about it is, the closer your relationship is with God, the sweeter your life will be. Now, very interesting, I know in my case, is that when I was younger, my parents had me go to church, but I did not understand a lot of things. So as I got older, I stopped going until I heard the voice of God for myself and developed an intimate relationship with God. Then I started going back. So I always believed in God, but I didn't always know God. And there's a difference. There is a difference between believing there is a God and actually knowing God. And the way you know God is by having that intimate relationship through prayer, through worship, through reading the Bible. Sometimes you might have a set time getting up early in the morning, getting into prayer, listening to worship music throughout the day, reading the word, or do it all together, whatever the case may be. But it's also developing that trust. When you know God and you know God is going to come through and God has come through for you over and over again, you develop that trust where other people, they may not trust God or trust God in that area, but for you, it's different because you know God. Once again, that came out of the book of Daniel. And you remember that Daniel trusted God so much that when they made a law that he could not pray to his God, he still prayed to his God and he did not try to hide. He opened the curtain so everyone could see him praying to his God. He was not fearful of being thrown in the lion's den or the three Hebrew boys. They did not want to bow to the statue because it was against what their God had told them to do. They was not fearful of being thrown in the fiery furnace. They trusted God. They said the God that we serve, he will deliver us. So there's a certain amount of trust that comes from that intimate relationship with God. Come on now. Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. So the deeper your relationship is with God, the sweeter your life will be. And the Bible calls God our Heavenly Father. Every father wants a relationship with their child. So God wants that relationship with you. And what you will find is, is that as you grow in your walk with God or strengthen your relationship with God through prayer, through worship, through reading the word, through acting on the word, through trusting God, come on now. The Bible says that God cannot lie and God is his word. In the beginning was the word and the word was God. That's John 1.1. 1, 1. So God cannot lie. His word is true. His word will not return void. God watches out over his word to perform it. So you can stand on the word. It's when we stand on the word, confess it and believe it in our heart, it must come to pass. There shall be a performance of those things that are believed from the Lord. So sometimes in your life, when you get frustrated, sometimes in your life when things do not work out, do not count your problems, count your blessings. Look back over your life and see how far God has brought you from. Because there's a phrase that goes, I may not be where I want to be, but thank God that I'm not where I used to be. And I'm pretty sure that that phrase applies to a lot of us. That, hey, God has brought us a mighty long way. 
God is still working on us all. God is not done with us yet. Come on now. You do not look like what you've been through. That's something to shout about right there, that you do not look like what you've been through. That's something to shout about, shout about that you're not where you used to be and that God is not done with you yet. And the best is yet to come. And like I just said, the sweeter your life will be, the closer your relationship with God is. So make it a point to keep growing in your walk, keep growing in your relationship with God, because those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Come on now. There's another verse that says, what if some do not believe? Does that make the word of God of null effect? God forbid. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. So sometimes people may not believe the word, but that does not make God not keep his word just because some don't believe. So the enemy will always try to sow doubt or have people try to sow doubt in your mind according to the word. But stand on the word. Trust God because God cannot lie. And God will never leave you. He will never fail you. And he will never forsake you. Glory to his name. Well, with that being said, that is the word that God placed on my heart for this video. So remember, <laughs> keep growing in your walk and know your God. Until the next video, I just want to say, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.